Hey guys, what's going on? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I figured I'd hop back on to show you guys the progress of my uh, Otter Messer. This is my Otter Messer anchor knife. I'll pick it up in a minute. It's soaking wet right this second. The um, I've got uh, on these handles here, I've got a beautiful, beautiful coat of teak oil on them. Um, if you guys know anything about teak oil, um, it's about the best stuff you can possibly, possibly put on wood. Exterior wood to preserve wood. Um, I used to be a painter uh, most of my adult life. That's my main, all aspects, aspects of carpentry. But I did painting and drywall all of my, just about all of my life. Um... I've got teak oil on the handle, which is drying right now. A real nice thick coat of teak oil I applied there. Furthermore, um, oh, I can't pick it up, guys. I'm going to try for a second. I will put another coat, or I will dip it again in my special formula, which I try to get the blades with the patina to come out evenly. Sometimes it comes out blotchy and it just don't look right. This one's almost there, kind of, sort of. She's still a little blotchy, but if I put my secret formula on it again, it should look just beautiful. Real nice and old, that old look we're going for. But if you're looking for any kind of wood handles and stuff, if you're looking for uh, treating wood handles, you got to go with... Um, you got to go with this, uh, let me try and, you got to go with this teak oil, it's called. Um, I got it soaking right now. Now, that'll go all nice into the wood, and that will become a super, a super rich, nice, beautiful color. And you will not be able to tell that that is not um, a very expensive wood. You will think that that is an expensive wood, and I can fake you into believing that. But I just wanted to give you guys a look at the patina. This one did take the patina quite well. I could have kept it in there longer. I, I, I was busy. Um, I can dip it again. Um, but what else was I going to say real quick? Um, I had something to say. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. I flushed. I flushed the pivots out on this green micarta trapper. Guys, it is just absolutely 110. We'll go 120. Spectacular. This is a spectacular, spectacular blade. Um, it just is, man. I worked it. I just kept working the action until she just got that snap, that sound. Uh, I cleaned up. I cleaned the bolsters up real good on it. So now that, 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 look at that micarta for the sake of love. I just can't find a micarta that, 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 that looks that good. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I happen to get one where the, um, they're both even. The coloring is even on both sides, dead even on both sides, guys. Um, but just take a look at that. Get that all in there, you know? And the reason why I'm showing you this is just because, I mean, $12, $14 knife. I, I could fake you into believing that this was a $50 piece, if not more. I could I could make you believe that this is a $75 piece. So that's that. And yes, guys, I am into elephant toe knives. Yes, I am. I know that you guys are not. I've got a couple of them in there, and, uh, you know, it's not, definitely not for everybody. It's not. <laughs> you know, I get it. I get it. It's not for everybody, and um, you could sometimes look at this stuff and be like, what in the crazy world is that? You know what I mean? Um, I have a person that I'm going to get a slip made for because I want to carry these bad. I like it. I like it that much where I'd carry it. But I do not have anything to carry it in as of yet. I need to get with a leather maker. But I just can't. Let's put the, the, the knife aside for a minute. I just can't get over to G10. Just look at that blue 
G10. I mean, I'm sold on the knife just because of the blue G10, basically. I mean, I you know, I'm not in love with this knife by any means. You know what I mean? I'm not in love with it. But it just, uh, you know, it's just fun. You know, it's just a fun little piece to uh, to have in the collection. It's, that's all it is. It's just fun. It's all about fun. And this piece, if you break it out, I, I guarantee you get some giggles off this piece. You'll get some smiles. You'll get some giggles. A few people will want to handle it. And uh, they'll enjoy this piece. So that's that. That's my, uh, and that's it. This here, guys, that's still soaking in. Man, it's all wet on my stuff. Everything, man, my wife's going to kill me. I'm doing all this on her Bura. Yeah. Um, but, guys, I'll give you one last look at it. Let me know what you think about the uh, coloring so far. Should I take the blade further, deeper into the, uh, into the patina or let it go right there? And... Um, I guess when this dries, I'll put another coat of teak oil on that, too. How's that wood look, guys? But this is just some of the stuff you do with your knives, you know what I mean? So, she's almost ready to go. And you've got, what right here, you've got a $50 knife that, like I said, that's, uh, you know, much better now, I think. I mean, much better. I mean, much better. So... I really, really enjoy the knife now that I, I just did them couple little stupid little things, and it's that much better. It just is. It, it to me, it looks, it looks really, uh, it looks really nice. Guys, please drop me that comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know where we're going with this. Uh, let me know where we're heading with this hobby, and uh, stick with me. Please stick with me. As I told you in the last video, my pup goes in tomorrow. That's all over and done with. And we're going to try and uh, stick with this. I'm going to be carrying her up and down steps outside to go pee-pees and all this other good stuff, guys. So my wife bought a ramp for the steps. Hopefully she'll use it. I don't think she's going to use that ramp, but my wife, you, you can't tell my wife nothing. All right, guys, hang in there with me now. Let me know what you think about this uh, beautiful, I think beautiful, Otter Messer $50 anchor knife. If you are in the market for a good, this is like the Ram's Horn, the GEC Ram's Horn that you paid, I paid 100 and, over 125 or something for my, my GEC knife. This was 50 bucks. And I'm telling you, it's a good knife. It is a good knife. If you don't like that one, once again, check out the Otter Messer 3 Rivet. Now, this knife here, this is a Hall of Famer for me. If you don't like that one, oh, man, it's great, dude. Snap and everything. Yo, this is a good one, guys. The patina came out beautiful on this one. See how the patina comes all even? I like that. And I don't like it real dark. But anyway, this is the 3 Rivet. The three rivet uh, otter messer. So let's stick them together. Now my hands are all wet. <laughs> anyway, oh. there you go, guys. What in the heavens do you think about that pick? Look at that. Two otter messers, man. What do you guys think about the otter messers? My two otter messers for the collection. Oh, Warthog. Ricky. What are you doing with me over there, Rick? Tobias, please help me over there, Tobias. And my man, William. That's what it should look like, William, when you force a patina, buddy. All right, guys. I'm going to put this down. I'm getting all wet over here, uh, messing up my knife. And that's it, guys. That's the three rivet. I'll put this down. Stick with me, guys. Let me know what's going on. And uh, please drop the comment and let's talk. Thank you very much, guys. Take her easy. Bye-bye now.